friend O Steve here. Hey, Larson. And the Enforcer. And welcome back, Friendo Club TV. It is time for predictions for AW's Double or Nothing 2022. This should be a lot of fun on uh, twitch.tv forward slash Steven Larson this weekend. We will be live streaming our reactions and then right here at the channel, hopefully the next day or so, um, we'll also have a, 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 a super cut of said reactions of us going, oh. <gasps> Oh my God! Bray Wyatt's there now, or freaking Claudio, cameraman, finally revealed. Okada showed up, something like that. Oh my God! So, uh, so yeah, all that's going to be going down this weekend. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, and of course, Big Red. This is the last of three events, the triad uh, of events for this month. Will Larson hold on to it another month? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, four or, months. Enforcer right I. There. Couple of big old dullards still. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> still on that chase. Steve, I got to ask yeah, a question exactly. of you. Are you making these picks or is this Steve Quill doing these picks? Oh, it's all Steve Quill. He's over in the corner over there and he just he just threw up a bunch of uh, picks. He, mm. he made his picks, he ate them, and then he threw them back up. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing kicked off. Hookhausen and, uh, versus Tony Nese and Mark Sterling. Uh, I'll start. Sure. Hook, Hookhausen, a lot of confidence points. I'm right. going to go, hold on a shit. I forgot about the confidence points. These are all preliminary. We're going to be doing them during the show. How many How many of these 11, matches? 11? 11, 11 matches As so far. Thursday, I Nick. will go with 10 confidence points. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. I got Hookhausen 10. Real brief before Enforcer gets his pick in confidence points. Please. We employ him here. Uh, 11 matches. Match most confident in. 11 points. Match least confident in. One, you get your pick right. You get those points. Whoever has most points. Uh, at the end, we'll win big red this month. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's because, yeah. Uh, it's anybody's ball game still. Sorry, enforcer. It is. Absolutely, no, no. It's all good. I mean, just to let everybody know. I mean, you two are tied. I'm down by two, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. it's all to play for. Every pick here matters. Indeed. So right now, like uh, like you, Steve said, I got ten on Hookhausen, but I may have to save one of these big numbers for one that I'm not so confident in later on in the show. But right now, Hookhausen with ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then also on the buy-in for the TBS championship, Jade Cargill taking on Anna J. Uh, uh, I got Jade with eleven. Yeah, she is not having her first loss on the on the buy-in. Nope, that's not happening. Nope, not going to happen. So eleven here for me as well. Yeah, I, I agree with all that. It's Jade Cargill. We can move on. She's going to yeah, win. Gonna this win. is 11 Jade confidence points. Jade yeah. wins. Uh, next up, we got House of Black versus Death Triangle. This feud is seemingly going on for six months, maybe. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a long time. Enforcer, who you got? Yeah. Um, this is one of these ones where it depends on where the placement is on the show here. If it's the first match out here, I don't think you're going to have – uh, uh, House of Black win in a clean way. That's why I kind of think if it's the first one out the gate, Death Triangle, low confidence, only two. I'm just sitting here with with them. What about you, Steve? Uh, Death Triangle, I've got uh, I've got three confidence points on this, and I it's kind of got to be Death Triangle. I, I want it to be House of Black. Yeah, I will probably go with Death Triangle. Because I feel like they've taken the brunt of the punishment from House of Black. They need to get theirs back. And they took all that time constructing a cheesy foam uh, uh, cemetery tombstone. Uh, tombstone. tombstone. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of something in a cemetery uh, with the cheesy poker chip on it. I mean, they spent all that time. Alex is a wizard. So, yeah, three confidence points. But I'd, I'd like it to be House of Black. But I think somebody. Uh, yeah. The other guys. I think it's going to be House of Black. You might see a new member. Maybe Julia Hart will finally turn. No, oh, House of Black oh. needs this. They lose this. They look like a bunch of chumps. They need this. <laughs> They've been feuding with Fuego. They look like a bunch of chumps. I anyway. know, but if they're they lose chumps. this feud, they're going to look like double chumps. I got House no. of Black only two confidence points right now. Next, we got Anarchy in the Arena, Jericho Appreciation Society versus Blackpool Combat Club, Eddie Kingston, Santan Ortiz. Steve, who do you got? Oh my God, this is so lopsided. I have eight confidence points on the Blackpool Combat Club 
Kingston, Santana, Ortiz. I don't care if Daniel Bryan gets both legs stuck between a <laughs> ring and a ramp. I don't care if him and Daniel Bryan Danielson have a little bit of disrespect there between the other, between each other. It's Blackpool Combat Club. They are the most powerful force in a W. Uh, and then the other guys, they're no slouches themselves. Uh, you're talking eight confidence points. All right, I got uh, wow. I got Blackpool Combat Club and friends with six. Everything you wow. said. Wow. Okay, okay. Well, this may be the one that divides the uh, horses here a little bit. Uh-oh. Um, because there are plenty of bodies on both teams that could easily eat a pin. And I even, even though com- uh, a Blackpool Combat Club, super strong, there were some people that are positioned a little bit lower. So is Jericho. I've got one on it, and I've got the Jericho Appreciation oh, Society. Wow. Plenty of bodies wow. anywhere in that building can eat a pin, and we're done. Yeah. So, that is a fair point. Yeah. That's a fair point. Yeah. Fair point. Yeah. Uh, next up, the Owen Hart Tournament uh, final in the women's tournament. Either uh, it's, it's Britt Baker taking on <laughs> either Ruby Soho or Chris Statlander. Obviously, we don't know who's advancing yeah. to the final to face Britt yet. Correct. Yeah. Um, so, if it's Ruby who advances, I'm saying her with one. Okay. If Chris advances, then Britt's winning. But I kind of think but Ru- with with probably more confidence. Yeah, points with, than with one, more confidence right? points. Yeah, yeah. With like okay. four maybe or something. I don't know. But if Ruby advances, I might. I think I will pick her with a single confidence point. Enforcer. If Ruby advances, oh, I'm sorry, Enforcer, go ahead. Oh, um. I would say this, yeah, if Ruby advances, even then I still think it's Brit. And I don't feel that good, but I don't have so many low points here, so I have to kind of put some in the middle here. I got Brit with five. Um even even if it's Chris Statlander that beats Ruby, I still have Brit mm-hmm. around in that position, mm-hmm. somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got Brit regardless because I've been saying this for so long Mm -hmm. and I've been saying with the utmost confidence, uh, however, I'll put one confidence point on this. (laughs) Well, here's the thing. Because man, if Larson's right, (laughs) I got, this is strategy here. If Larson's right, I cannot afford to risk a lot of confidence. So here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing about, uh, if Ruby wins, she's already tagged with Tony Storm. Tony Storm has beef with Jamie Hayter and, and Brit. So if it's a situation in the match where tie them all together, where where Hater tries to get involved to help Britt win, Tony Storm could come out, take her out of out of, out of the picture, and then it's just one on one Ruby and Britt, and that that ups the odds that Ruby could win. That's how I'm looking at it. There you go. I, I look at it in that Ruby's never on TV and Britt's always on TV. What better way to get Ruby yeah. back on TV than have her win the Owen tournament? Next uh, for the tag titles. Jurassic Express champions taking on uh, uh, Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks and the team of Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. Uh, Enforcer, who you got? Okay. As much as I would want to go with, shout out to Bex, obviously, with Strickly Business, Mm. I will have to be, much like the last one, I think, Revolution, we had a three-man team, uh, two of them that have been feuding, Take each other out. Jurassic Express squeaks by. I expect the same thing here. Uh, four confidence points. I don't think strictly business as a win because they look strong at the end of the match and got the win uh, in in that in that uh, a tri- triple threat match as well. So it's Jurassic Express. Hopefully, um, Cage uh, C- Christian Cage and them start the breakup here, man, because it's got to happen. At some yeah, point. it does. Steve, who do you got? I have Jurassic Express as well with four confidence points. When they lose, going to be straight up two on two, one team versus one team. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I got four confidence points. I'm not super confident because, I don't know, I'm a big fan of Team Taz. I'm a big fan of Strictly, whatever they're called. Um, so, yeah, I, I but I got I got the Lucha dudes, the Luchasaurus and the other guy. <laughs> I got Jurassic <laughs> Express gotcha. with three. Uh, I feel like FTR would be the team that takes those titles off Jurassic Express. Yeah. Uh, next final for the men's Owen tournament. Adam Cole, Bay Bay, mm-hmm. Samoa Joe, Steve. Who do you got? It's Adam Cole, of course. Oh. How many confidence points? Nine. All right. There you go. Nine. Cause this is I. You know what? Actually, uh, I'll do this. Uh, seven. Actually, I'll put seven because okay. my nine's going to go over here. So okay. yeah, seven. Okay. okay. 
Okay, I got I got Cole with eight. Yeah, okay. uh, say I got Cole with seven. Um, um, somehow Joe is gonna get attacked somehow. Yeah, it'll be lethal and win. Yeah, Sanjay Dutt. And, yeah, uh, and we're so episodes. we're so fried in this predictions video. That, that's what's gonna happen. We've had so many emotional ups and downs during Smash Zone, which yeah. recorded right before this. <laughs> I know. This uh, is my confidence <laughs> points are on this piece of cardboard right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There you go. That's that's how it is. That's 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 how Steve's night has turned out. It's just handwritten notes on, on piece cardboard, of cardboard. I know. But then if that's you people have done, if you win, Steve, that's <laughs> precious cardboard. Then I know. Yeah, I want to like cardboard. stick to this right here, I but know. there's probably gonna be a, so. Apparently, there's gonna be a Kyle O'Reilly Darby Allen match p- potentially added. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not a hundred percent sure, but we're not for the purposes of this video. We're we not won't gonna. include it now. Yes. Uh, yes. We will yes. include this next match. Hardy's taking on the Young Bucks. Yes. Mm-hmm. It'll probably be the Young Bucks, but I'm gonna pick the Hardys. Five confidence points. Mm. Um, oh, I, I don't. Yeah, I got. I have one more confidence point than you, but it's totally gonna be the Hardys. Mm. Jeff Hardy's still pretty new. Um, the Young Bucks probably are looking forward to putting them over. And in fact, I think you're right about FTR taking it off of uh, the Jungle guys. But uh, the Hardys are gonna be next in line after that, which sucks so. for LAX. But uh, could, could you imagine a Hardys versus FTR feud? That'd be, be amazing. That'd be I great. love that. That'd be great. great. That'd be great. Who do you got and, for, uh, with that, with that being said, I am, uh, I, I am on the Hardy train as well. Uh, eight, I have now. I know what you say. I see those eyes bugged out, Larson. It's because I mean, I don't feel that good. But there's a lot of matches I really don't feel all that good about. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it yeah, could. I, I mean, it depend. If this was like a, you know, Vince doing this. He could wake up and everything that makes sense here, he'd just throw out the window out. Uh, and But I don't feel good about it, but I got to drop an eight somewhere. That's and this true. Is where it lands. That's true. Preliminarily, though. Exactly. We'll see how the flow of the show goes. Uh, yes, exactly. The Women's Championship, Thunder Rosa taking on Serena Deeb and Forcer. Who do you got? Um, I love Serena Deeb, but I don't know if the bill that they did with Thunder Rosa – to get the belt from Brit, if you would take it off of her now, that's why I don't feel all that good, but still Thunder Rosa, but with six. Okay. How about you, Steve? I got Thunder Rosa also with five. Um, I, I I think that, I mean, it's, it's, she, she basically just got that. She did not get that yeah. title that long ago. Mm-mm. Yeah. In like two months or something. It was two weeks after mm-hmm. the last pay-per-view, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, I got five confidence points. It's not a lot, uh, because like her title reign, they have not booked this title reign very compellingly. Yeah. Um, and so I don't know. Tony, he can be weird sometimes. He's got Jade who's gonna be forever champion with that TBS title. Um, maybe he maybe he'd hot potato this one a little bit now that it's, it's off Brit. So that's why I have five confidence points, but I don't really see it changing hands. I think Thunder Rosa. No, Rose it's not changing it. hands. Yeah. Thunder Rosa nine. She's not losing this. Wow, nine. All right. There's no go. way. No All way. Right. Yeah. I'm there with you. No way. Uh, right. then we got yes. MJF versus <laughs> Wardlow. Wardlow. Steve, who do you mm. got? I got the uh, the war dog, man, the war pig. Mm-hmm. Uh nine confidence points on go. Wardlow, of course. Of course, he's going to beat MJF. Absolutely. He should. should. Now, I mentioned this on a recap. Maybe he'll do the thing where he hits the power bomb on MJF, and that's kind of his win, and MJF cheats to win. I don't think it's going to happen. I got Wardlow with seven, but I can't have, like, super high. Nine, yeah. Like nine, but seven. Wardlow. I know. Oh, man. I tell you, man, these, the, you know, you laying that seven down sounds like the right call that's why i'm going wardlow with nine there we go there we go <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple of big dummies there you go <laughs> uh finally our main event your main aw event. champion yes. hangman and page taking on phil brooks cm punk uh steve you go first here i want to hear your thoughts on this yeah me too i put the onus on you to make your pick first here hangman page literally stood tall at the end of that segment He's a mess. If the story is he's wilting under pressure, then he's going to wilt full on and lose this title. He's only 30 years old. This could be a great story beat for Hangman Page losing to CM Punk, who might very well go full on heel during this match. I think it's going to be compelling stuff. At this point, I literally made a video today on WrestleJuice 
That's called I'm Convinced Hangman Page Should Lose to CM Punk. Willie, I don't know. I only have two confidence points on CM Punk. Look in my eyes. What do you see? Do you see a new AW champion? Uh, is me. <laughs> is, he? Okay. Um, is he? Go ahead, Enforcer. Go yes. ahead. Go ahead. Um, I hope this whole this, thing comes down to this match, by the way. I hope so. This, this right here is where the path leads for the championship here. This is really what I think. Do you continue the build of adversity for Hangman or do you in this reign? Because he's going to get another reign and another reign and another reign at this belt. Is this the one that he loses the championship to and then builds to the next one? CM Punk, finite amount of time. There's an MJF sitting out here and, and Steve... As much as I, as much as this isn't smash, smash zone, and I wish that I don't want to saddle up my wagon with you. I am saddling it up here. Bad CM move, Punk, big dummy. <laughs> I've got three on this one oh, here. No, I really wow. think this is going to lead to CM Punk in Chicago fighting MJF for the title, and then we're going to go down that road. I think this is where it starts, and CM Punk is going to get the belt. Three confidence points. He's got to walk into Chicago as Ch- God. That'll blow the roof off the place. He's got. He's going. He's going to win in Chicago. I don't know if it's going to be MJF in Chicago, but CM Punk walking into Chicago as champion. I just. Right. I don't know, man. Like what? Hangman Page is going to win here right. and then keep on getting booed by people. Here's he's something, starting to get booed. Here's something to consider too: is 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 uh, uh, Forbidden Door is in Chicago. They. I know typically All Out is in Chicago. They haven't announced. That all out's going to be in Chicago, so mm-hmm. it's entirely possible all out does not happen there. Mm-hmm, that's true. Likely yeah. that's will, true. but it's that's possible true, yeah. it won't because mm-hmm. they're getting another. They're getting forbidden door there, so something mm-hmm. potentially keep in mind. I don't know. I have four confidence points. I'll based on how the show goes and, and the scores go. I'll put four confidence points on whoever I think is my best pick to win. <laughs> <laughs> Big red. My heart is telling me Hangman. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I've re- I'm really into a story. It's 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 so I mean, subtle and so nuanced, and I'm really into it. I see I see all the points about Phil getting the win here, and and I saw on Twitter someone mentioned well like when when he won the Ring of Honor title immediately heel turn, which is mm-hmm. what Paige was alluding to. Yeah. You know and where are we at the beginning of the seasons right now, man? It's gonna be another summer of punk. Could be. Mm. And then, you know, uh, when he won the WWF title back, WWE title back after he lost it to Del Rio, shortly after that, he turned heel again. Mm. Yeah. So that, you know, like, that's the stuff that Paige is alluding to. And, and maybe the whole point of Paige's story now is is he can't fight for anybody, but he's got to learn how to fight for himself. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if that story is going to play out during the course of this match or down the line. Right now, since it's preliminary, I'll go with my heart. I'll say Hangman. Four confidence. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. But day of, you're gonna be like, oh man. So l- Lars, let me ask because if you're if if it comes down to the last match, you're the champion, mm-hmm. and it comes down to it. If your pick is everything that matters, yeah. And if you lose, it's because of that last pick. Uh huh. Where are you going? Because you have all the info right now. Obviously, yeah, you yeah. can change your mind. Yeah. But you have yeah. all the info in front of you. Would you go with your head or your heart? That's mm. a big decision right I know. Now. I'd have or to go gut. with my head rather than my You'd heart. You'd have to go with <laughs> pumpkin, because, huh? Because the, it's it's that. I want that to stay there. That's a hard choice in to perpetuity. make. perpetuity. It is. Because that's why it I only is. have two confidence points on it. Because, well, right now. Yeah. And that's I don't know if that's going to change. Well, I want, um, to have a, I want to have a little bit more at the end. Mm-hmm. Just in case I need it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yep. Dude, I'm so agree with you, man. That's why, like, I put this list together the normal way, but I realized I need to save a big blower out back in case this is my one shot to mm-hmm. get it done here. Mm-hmm. So I may save one of those tens or eleven, and I may say ten on punk because I need it. Yep. yep. So. Entirely possible. It's all to play for, and I really hope that the friendos watching this video here join us at twitch.tv forward slash Steven Larson on Sunday and watch this go down live because it's not been a three-horse race like this 
uh, um, um, since we started. Since we started. Since we started. Yeah. So this is going to, this is, this is chess right here. We're playing yeah. three sided chess right here, man. Yep. Or like I'm horseshoes. Looking- um, where you know you can get close, and that's good enough. Uh, all right, everybody, that's gonna do it for us. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Uh, and until next time, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Bye.